when to exit and who to exit to. Is it a strategic? Is it an IPO? Is it a private equity? Is it a pension fund? And all of them, and we'll go in detail tomorrow, but each one has a little bit different. Some have benefits and some uh, like private equity negotiate harder, okay? Pension funds negotiate easier. The strategics probably have the best of both worlds. Strategic meaning a bigger company in your field, okay? The uh, Bupa is a huge buyer of health assets here in this country. It's a big insurance company, health insurance company. So, but we'll discuss that. But I mean, that's down the road. The first thing is getting the deal done. Well, they're not looking for 1.5 cash flow to debt service. They're not looking to any. They, I've never seen a, a non-recourse loan that has a, such a covenant. And it's not like you say, well, pay us back when you can. They, they don't, it's not like that. You have documents and all that stuff, and you sign all this, but no, no, nobody comes chasing you. Now, some of the people that have embezzled outright fraud to take money, you know, Interpol or somebody goes after them. But, um, I mean, it's, it's like the guy, Anelli, that I, you heard down there um, and in South Africa they have state banks that were formed by Mandela when he got to be president but that's not the only place that because again 90% of the startups fail the first year and they know that they know that and they want you they don't want that to stifle or hinder productivity from you know the poor folk and I've never been involved I've never seen a bribe paid for a, a nine recourse loan I'm not saying there aren't but I've never been seen one uh, and uh, there's non-recourse money in Nigeria, there's not in all those countries. But uh, when you hear uh, Jason tomorrow, and um, you you can you can get deals done without signing. And remember, when you're interviewing the financial institutions, the deals have to stand on their own two feet. And one of the and it's in your templates. Uh, uh, we're only going to bring you transactions that make sense. The cash flow, debt service is covered and, and stand alone with no additional corrupt collateral. And that's part of the script. So you're up front. And if they don't like that, it's like the gal said yesterday, I made a mistake. I didn't say cash flow lending. Remember, she said that. That's bullshit. How many times do I say fucking cash flow lending anyway? And when they know that, they may send you to another part of the bank. That's possible. Um, but you don't care what they send you to another part of the bank or they may ask you to come back tomorrow as long as you get the money. Just, that's exactly right. And know that you can't take a salary right out of the loan. <laughs> you tell the World Bank, uh, yeah, I, I need a salary. Get a bonus right I need a bonus right now. So, and then you're, you're off to the races, so to speak. And you're, um, and then uh, it's obvious, it should be obvious. It, it, it's, it's fun when you're doing deals, uh, not just because you're not starving to death anymore, but it's fun doing deals. And the, um, but the, the challenge, and we're gonna spend tomorrow a lot, uh, quite a bit of time talking about, is you know uh, when to prepare yourself and your team for an exit. Uh, almost everybody wants to hang on too long. I alluded to this yesterday. They want to hang on too long, uh, meaning they, they don't want to, they, they think they're going to sell too early and they're leaving too much money on the table, uh, is another way of putting it. But um, that's not the case. You want to be able to exit and then do it again. For, for you, you can do this 10 times in your lifetime, for the kid 18. For the uh, other kids that are in their early, mid 20s, you can do it six, seven, or eight times. Even for the old gits. I've got a couple left in there. I know, I was gonna say, you can do it at least a couple of times. And you start up buying revenue, remember, cash flow, and you pump it up, exit, and do it again and again. Not everybody stays in the same industry. You know, uh, some people go from healthcare to uh, technology, and then they come back to healthcare because technology is a lot harder than healthcare. But, um, and some people just stay uh, in their, um, in their own field, like I, I've told him because of his education, that uh, the uh, although he came to me with an idea, I told him I thought of a better idea based on his education. He's, he's, he's got a perfect education for uh, maybe a more uh, scientific or uh, sophisticated healthcare roll up. But I mean, he's got uh, advanced degree in medical engineering. And I mean, that's fucking hot, hot. And who would have known, you know, who would have thought it? <laughs> Yeah, you know, never, you know, but uh, I mean, I, as soon as I saw that, I said, well, fuck, I mean, I won't explain your esoteric thing that you came up with, you know, it's, uh, it's a little Disneyland and, uh, but uh, for me, but um, and I'm not saying it couldn't work, but he'll be 50 years old by the time it works, in my opinion. So better that he does the other in my, uh, my, was my advice. But a couple of you have specific backgrounds like you in the, uh, in the Middle East, Naom, 
I mean, uh, the uh, his background is almost perfect, other than you know we, uh, he's from that part of the world. He speaks and the language and all that stuff. And I'm not demeaning that, but I mean, um, I said on YouTube what a year ago. If you're Arab, if you speak Arabic, you're Arabic. Or even if you're not Arabic and you speak Arabic, but if you're Arabic, fucking take a one-way ticket and go to Saudi, the kingdom, and never come back. Well, here he is, and uh, he he fits almost perfect. I assume I wouldn't know if he spoke spoke good Arabic or bad Arabic, and I I wouldn't know. It doesn't. He says he speaks good Arabic, and for what he used to do. Uh, back for the United States government, he, I'm sure he speaks perfect Arabic. But uh, I mean, just that's it. No spreadsheets necessary. I know you'd want to do a spreadsheet. I know. Uh, okay. I'll put triggers quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, and for certain of you with your background, I wouldn't send you back to Nigeria though. No, no. The uh, uh, we put you on the Nigerian diet. You know, you could uh, walk 20 miles for water every day. Okay, so now you're in the hunt, but when to exit? And who to exit to? Is it a strategic? Is it an IPO? Is it a private equity? Is it a pension fund? And all of them, and we'll go in detail tomorrow. But each one has a little bit different. Some have benefits, and some uh, like private equity negotiate harder. Okay, pension funds negotiate easier. The strategics probably have the best of both worlds. Strategic meaning a bigger company in your field. Okay, the uh, Bupa is a huge buyer of health assets here in this country. It's a big insurance company, health insurance company. So, but we'll discuss that. But I mean, that's down the road. The first thing is getting a deal done and uh, and not making it so confusing uh, that it gets all screwed up. Who's my 5:30 today? Six, six thirty. Okay, we eat in the castle today, I believe. Uh, you have, um, let's see, did we have any handouts? No. Okay, just the movie tonight then. And your goals and affirmations. Goals and affirmations. Remember, over the top, bodacious, um, big numbers, and um, and then uh, we'll go through that, and we'll go through some more of the finalization of uh, uh, getting deals done in the board and financing. And uh, are there any questions? Yes, sir. When we turn in our goals and affirmations. Are you going to give us any feedback on that? Or is that just for you? Well, uh, if you want feedback, no. I want you to keep your goals and affirmations. <laughs> You're going to turn them into me so I can read them tomorrow at lunch. But I mean, and then when you do your first weekly report, I keep calling it, it's not weekly. When you do your first report, you'll do it again. And I will look at them when you're in your report, not when you turn them in tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to know what to cover in the afternoon if I see any glaring uh, uh, mistakes. Your reports have gotten better, um, which is uh, uh, the norm. Uh, if, it's, if it's not the norm, then I've done something wrong. But I've readjusted the seminar to try to push, as Sally would say, the right buttons. And uh, every group's different. Every group's different. I mean, uh, I mean, there was a hundred slides I didn't use for this group um, that I might have used for other groups because certain things you got, like y you got paying yourself. <laughs> I love private equity. Yeah, I, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, the, the, the certain things, the certain things that resonated with you. Uh, one of the other questions, you know, how soon can I get paid? Is basically the universal question. It is. I understand that. You know, even though you, some of you have trouble believing it, I was where you are. You know, decades ago, but I've been there. I know what it is. Okay. If there's no questions, I'll see you for drinks at seven o'clock in the uh, drawing room. Thank you.